Welcome everyone to Fulbright University Vietnam's Convocation 2022. <laughs> to our distinguished guests, um, members of the board, uh, undergrad and graduate, faculties and staff, families, friends, and most importantly, the student, class 2026. It is an honor for me to speak with you today to mark the beginning of our academic year. I have had this special honor to speak at convocations since our very first intake in 2018. This year marks a special milestone in Fulbright's history. It is our fifth intake of undergrad students and it is the first year we have a graduating class. For many, this is the moment that we all have been waiting for. Fulbright will finally have a graduating class and Fulbright will continually broadening, championing a liberal arts education in Vietnam. This fifth intake and the first graduating class and all of the years before and in between that we make it possible comes at a time that when your generation, Gen Z, is in the age of now. If you want food or meal tea now, you open Bamin or Grab or Gojek. If you want entertainment now, you open Instagram, Netflix or TikTok. If you want to chat with friends and families now, you open Facebook, FaceTime or Zalo or Zoom. And for some of uh, the brave among you, Microsoft Teams, right? If you want basically anything else now, you open Lazada, Shopee or Tiki. So many things in life you want can happen now. But what we want in life is not always what we need. The world is changing rapidly. There's an acronym to describe this phenomenon, VUCA. Our world is increasingly volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. At the same time, the world is facing a series of looming and existential threats, climate change, labor market automation from the fourth industrial revolution. We all are experiencing this looming and existential threat ourselves. A global pandemic taking lives of millions, a military conflict in Europe, a catastrophic flooding in South Korea and Pakistan, Wi-Fi's raging in California, what next? In a world where everything seems to go sideways, how can we maintain the energies and optimism to do something about it? How can we curtail the pending doom and gloom news across all the newspapers every day? How can we address this massive world-changing problem that we feel so far off? What we need in the VUCA world is not life on demand. Not everything at our fingertips now. What we need are critical and creative thinkers ready to take on the challenges of Vietnam, the region, and the world. What we need are pioneering spirits ready to embrace the uncertainty and defy it for the others. What we need are community-minded leaders ready to create the broadest social impact for as many people as possible. What we need is you. If you will indulge me for the next 10 minutes, I want to us to explore this question which our world is so at odds with. How can we create a long-lasting impact in the age of now? In these next 10 minutes, I want to share with you my perspective on answering this question 
a case study demonstrating said perspective and as always a distillation of what I share into actionable advice. I began my sharing with the significance of this year's convocation, the fifth intake. Your year, the class of 2026, the fifth intake, is the answer to how we can create a lasting social impact in the age of now. The fifth intake represents a steadfast commitment to the future, to long-term ism. This commitment comes despite all unforeseen changes, despite all the uncertainty, despite the critics. Long-term ism is a sincere belief that future people count. Long-term ism is understanding that we here today must take seriously our role in shaping the future and the lives that we will live in it. Long-term ism, especially in our VUCA world, with existential threats coinciding with the age of now, is to accept that we live, is to accept that the world we are living in, and we are living in a time with both exceptional opportunity and profound responsibility. At Fulbright, we understand that progress takes time. It happens slowly, and it rarely, if ever, goes in a straight line. Pushing for our better society, therefore, requires not only a high degree of patience and flexibility, but also the tolerance of contradictions, disruption, and sidesteps along the way. At Fulbright, we have become comfortable with this fact. We need to stay comfortable with this fact. And most importantly, we must ensure that whoever walks through our door are mentally prepared to embrace this fact. Now, on to our case study, Fulbright University, Vietnam, is long-termism in excellence. As Vietnam emerged from centuries of colonization and decades of war, this young nation was starting all over again, having the chance to define its own future, and this time on its own terms. Nearly 30 years ago, before many of you were born, there came an idea from an unlikely pairing, former adversaries. This uncanny relationship between Vietnam and the United States is long-term ism. It is quite literally the belief that future people count, that you here today matter, and even before you were born. The path forward 30 years ago was not always easy or clear or straightforward. Fulbright started small as an ambitious economic teaching program to equip and train Vietnamese current and future leaders with the world's most forward-thinking economics and public policies practice. As these leaders came of age with our young nation, year after year, decade after decade, it soon became apparent that we, Vietnamese and the United States, must lay an even stronger foundation to really cement this impact was to extend the reach to even more future people. And so came Fulbright University, Vietnam. It was the courage of their convictions, now our convictions, that if we can build a strong enough foundation, we can continue determine our own future. And that to do so is to accept and recognize and invest in future people because they count, because Vietnam's future, our future is you. This might feel like a lot to take in, and many of you fresh out of high school, you may not have signed up for a lecture to be told that our future rests in your hands. So 
as the best way to, to approach such a large and complex uh, concept and problems, let me break down long-term ism for you all today. University Student Edition. First, before you set off on focusing on future people, focus on your future self. Making the most out of Fulbright means fully immersing yourself in the experience and resources we have to offer. This means approaching all our activities, courses, events, opportunities and people with an open mind. Some would argue that the purpose of college is to find out what you like, but I would argue that the purpose of college is to find out what you do not like. By being here today, I hope that you have come mentally prepared to challenge your own assumption and maybe even change your mind on a thing or two. Second, you do not have to be good at everything you do, but you should at least be interested in it. We have worked diligently to build a student body that is diverse in the broadest sense academically, geographically, economically. You will meet people from backgrounds you have never met before, from places you have not yet been. You will meet people who are going to be better than you. This is not to stop competition. It is to remind ourselves that the world is so much bigger than us and that we should be continually amazed and in wonder of what and who out there. If you all here today can shift your expectation to not be the best at what you do and to the most interested at what you do, you will bring your own magic to this world. And that's what we need, a little bit of everyone's mad magic. Third, go through your time at Fulbright in good company. Surround yourself with friends, mentors, faculty, and staff who care about you. It is going to be these people, these transformative connections that can make or break your experience at Fulbright. Your Fulbright community will be filled with some of the most interesting people in your lives 5, 10, 15 years from now. Don't miss out the opportunity when you see them in the future and you can say, remember that time when? The one thing that you can and should do now is to invest in building meaningful relationships. They are our future people too. And fourth, a bonus tip. Remember to call home. They miss you more than you think. You make their day, trust me. So 10 minutes have come and gone. Hopefully no one is falling asleep. So how might you all capture the spirit of long-termism um, uh, by making the most of your time at Fulbright? Let me recap. Explore what is out there and be prepared to change your mind, hopefully more than once. Be immensely interested in what you do being the best is overrated. Surround yourself with good company. There is nothing like good adventures with even greater friends. Finally, remember to call home, maybe after convocation is over. When you do all the above, when that's all said and done, perhaps at that point, four years from now, you will look at your friends and recall Hmm, remember that lady told us four years ago how to make the most out of our Fulbright time? Class of 2026, to our future artists, creators, leaders, shapers, visionaries, to our champions of long-term ism, to our future. Welcome to Fulbright University Vietnam and welcome to the next best four years of your life.